For ages, humans have pondered the existence of extraterrestrial life and civilizations. With the mind-boggling number of galaxies, stars, and planets out there, it seems almost impossible that we are the only intelligent beings. This video is inspired by a fascinating and detailed blog post sent to me by Flash Gordon, exploring the intriguing concept of the rare Earth hypothesis. Yet a provocative idea known as the rare Earth hypothesis suggests that Earth and technological civilizations like ours may in fact be exceptionally rare, even unique, in the observable universe. This hypothesis, first proposed by the great science fiction author Isaac Asimov, and later expanded upon by scientists Peter Ward and Donald Brownlee, challenges the assumption that life is commonplace in the cosmos. To understand the rare earth hypothesis, we must first grapple with Fermi's paradox. In the 1950s, the renowned physicist Enrico Fermi posed a simple yet profound question. Where are they? If the universe is teeming with life, as many believe, and given the immense age of the cosmos, Shouldn't we have encountered evidence of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations by now? Their absence is perplexing and has become known as Fermi's paradox. The rare earth hypothesis offers a potential explanation for this paradox by suggesting that the conditions required for the emergence and sustained existence of complex life forms, let alone technologically advanced civilizations, are extraordinarily rare and specific. Isaac Asimov, the visionary author and scientist, approached the question of extraterrestrial intelligence with a rational philosophical mindset. He drew parallels between the fervor surrounding UFO sightings and the desire for a savior god, recognizing the human yearning for a higher power or advanced beings to reveal scientific and technological knowledge, thus sparing us the arduous journey of discovery. Asimov's genius lay in his ability to separate the observable from the unobservable, focusing his inquiry on the tangible evidence and known scientific principles. He acknowledged the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligences, but emphasized the importance of seeking them based on observable criteria, rather than relying on unsubstantiated beliefs or unobservable entities. In his book, Extraterrestrial Civilizations, Asimov meticulously dissected the factors that could influence the existence of habitable planets and, consequently, the emergence of intelligent life. He started with an estimated 300 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, and systematically narrowed down the number by considering various astronomical and astrophysical constraints. Some of the factors he considered included 1. Star rotation speed and the presence of planetary systems. The rotation speed of a star can affect the stability and formation of planetary systems. A star with a high rotation speed may have a more turbulent environment, potentially hindering the formation of stable, life-supporting planets. 2. Star size and stability. The size and stability of a star are crucial for the development of life. Stars that are too large or too small may have extreme radiation levels or unstable energy outputs, making it difficult for life to thrive. 3. Population 1, metal rich, versus population 2, metal poor. Stars. Population 1 stars, which are metal rich, are more likely to have planets with the necessary elements for life. In contrast, population 2 stars being metal poor are less likely to support life-bearing planets. 4. Presence of Jupiter-like planets. Large gas giants like Jupiter play a critical role in the solar system by acting as shields, protecting inner rocky planets from frequent comet and asteroid impacts. 5. Size and composition of potential Earth-like planets. The size and composition of a planet are fundamental to its habitability. Earth-like planets need to be within a certain size range to maintain a stable atmosphere and geological activity. 6. Time frame required for the evolution of multicellular life. The evolution of complex life forms from single-celled organisms takes billions of years. The time frame required for such evolution is a limiting factor in the emergence of intelligent life. Through this methodical process, Asimov arrived at an estimate of 530,000 stars in our galaxy that could potentially harbor intelligent civilizations. While this number may seem substantial, it pales in comparison to the staggering vastness of the observable universe, which contains an estimated 100 billion galaxies or more. Building upon Asimov's pioneering work, scientists Peter Ward and Donald Brownlee published their seminal book Rare Earth in 2000, further bolstering the case for the rarity of Earth-like planets and technological civilizations. They highlighted additional factors that make our planet and solar system unique, including 1. The presence of a large, stabilizing moon. 
Our moon plays a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's axial tilt, which in turn stabilizes our climate. Without the moon, Earth would experience dramatic climate swings, making it difficult for complex life to develop and persist. 2. The existence of plate tectonics and the carbon cycle. Plate tectonics are essential for recycling carbon and regulating atmospheric CO2 levels, which is critical for maintaining a stable climate and supporting life. 3. The occurrence of periodic global glaciation events, snowball Earth. These events may have played a role in the evolution of complex life by creating evolutionary pressures and altering global environments in ways that encourage diversification. 4. The presence of Jupiter as a celestial shield. As mentioned earlier, Jupiter's gravitational field helps protect Earth from frequent and potentially catastrophic impacts by comets and asteroids. 5. The abundance of essential elements. Like phosphorus, elements like phosphorus are essential for life, and their abundance on Earth is the result of specific supernova events that distributed these elements throughout our solar system. Subsequent discoveries have only added weight to the rare Earth hypothesis. For instance, it has been found that not all supernovae produce equal amounts of phosphorus, an essential element for life as we know it. Furthermore, many solar systems have been observed to harbor hot Jupiters, massive gas giants orbiting perilously close to their parent stars, disrupting the formation of potentially habitable rocky planets in the so-called Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone refers to the habitable zone around a star, where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. However, the mere presence of a planet in the Goldilocks zone does not guarantee habitability. Numerous other factors, including planetary atmosphere, magnetic field, geological activity, and chemical composition, also play critical roles in determining whether a planet can support life. If the rare Earth hypothesis holds true, it would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It would mean that the emergence of intelligent, technologically advanced civilizations capable of interstellar travel or communication, is an exceedingly rare cosmic event, potentially rendering our species alone in the observable universe. However, the hypothesis also faces challenges and critiques. Some argue that life could evolve in ways entirely different from what we observe on Earth, rendering our narrow criteria for habitability irrelevant. Additionally, the sheer vastness of the cosmos and the ongoing discovery of potentially habitable exoplanets suggest that life, even if rare, may still exist elsewhere. For example, astrobiologists are investigating the possibility of life in subsurface oceans on moons like Europa and Enceladus, where conditions may be similar to early Earth's deep-sea hydrothermal vents. These environments, shielded from harsh surface conditions, could potentially harbor microbial life. Moreover, the concept of shadow biospheres suggests that life might exist in forms vastly different from those we know, possibly based on biochemistries not dependent on carbon or water. Such alternative life forms might be undetectable with our current methods, implying that we might need to broaden our search parameters significantly. The rare earth hypothesis is a compelling and thought-provoking idea that forces us to confront the possibility that we may indeed be alone in the universe, at least for now. While the hypothesis raises existential questions and challenges our assumptions about the prevalence of life in the cosmos, it also underscores the profound rarity and preciousness of our own existence. Whether or not the rare Earth hypothesis ultimately proves to be correct, the quest to understand our place in the universe and to search for evidence of extraterrestrial life remains one of humanity's most profound and enduring endeavors. As we continue to explore the cosmos and unravel its mysteries, we may yet discover that we are not alone or we may come to appreciate the truly exceptional nature of our pale blue dot in the vast expanse of space. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, continues to evolve with advancements in technology. Scientists are employing increasingly sophisticated methods to detect potential signals from alien civilizations. Radio telescopes scan the sky for unusual signals, while optical SETI initiatives look for laser pulses that might indicate advanced technological activities. Breakthroughs in exoplanet research, particularly with missions like Kepler and the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, are continuously expanding our understanding of planetary systems and the potential for habitable worlds. These missions help identify exoplanets that might have the right conditions for life, further refining our search criteria and enhancing our ability to detect signs of life. Additionally, the search for biosignatures, chemical indicators of life, in the atmospheres of exoplanets is becoming increasingly feasible. 
Future telescopes and space missions will be capable of analyzing the atmospheric compositions of distant worlds, looking for gases like oxygen, methane, and other compounds that could suggest biological activity. Curious as to why we have yet to encounter extraterrestrials? Are we alone in this lifeless beauty? Dive into our video above to discover astonishing revelations that will challenge your perception of the universe and the origins of life. As promised, Flash Gordon has explored this topic in even greater depth and detail on his blog. If you found this video intriguing, I highly recommend checking out his blog for more relevant data and insights into the rare Earth hypothesis and the potential rarity of extraterrestrial civilizations. I leave you the link in the description.